was kind of anal about my oral hygiene. <laughs> I floss, I rinse, and I brush every day, twice a day, at least twice a day. I can't say that I do this religiously because religion is based on faith, not fact. And it's a straight up fact that flossing saved my mouth. And it might have saved my life. There's this particular kind of floss that I use. It's the only stuff that really works. And I just used the last little bit of it last night. I've been everywhere, and no one seems to have it in stock. There's about 15 kinds of dental floss out there on the market right now, and I'm here to tell you guys, most of them don't do diddly. <laughs> For the three of you out here that do floss regularly, <laughs> you're probably using one of the waxed varieties. Yeah, they put the wax on there to help the floss like slip in and out in between your teeth more easily, but why do you want it to just slip in and slip out? All the bad shit just slips right off. <laughs> and don't get me started on dental tape. That flimsy, ribbony bullshit that just folds around and shreds apart in your mouth. They flavor it so that it feels significant, but it's not doing anything. It's just sliding around, too. Listen, none of that shit is the shit you need to get the shit out from in between your teeth. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about when you get a little piece of roast beef stuck in between your molars back there. That's completely different. That is a food particle emergency. <laughs> in a pinch, any of that crappy floss will help you get your lunch up and out. <laughs> it's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about daily care for preventing persistent bacteria and treating periodontal disease. This is the deal. <laughs> when you're living in Annapolis, Maryland, because you had to be as far away as possible from the guy who broke your heart, and you're working as an assistant wedding photographer, lugging hundreds of pounds of equipment around in ungodly humidity, and all of your clients are jackasses, and your bosses are vampires, seriously, they're vampires. They, they work till four in the morning, they, they hide from the sun. They ordered a hairless kitten off the internet, and then they sent it back because it meowed too much. <laughs> Who does that? Vampires. <laughs> anyway, you get home every night to your weird little apartment, and that place is just crawling with bugs. Big bugs, like house centipedes with hundreds of little legs, and they move so fast, and they bite people. Did you know that? House centipedes bite people. Poisonous little You've lost sight of what you're doing with your life, and you're pretty sure that God doesn't give a shit about you. And your only pleasure is coffee and cigarettes and vodka. When this is your life, the last thing you're thinking about is flossing. <laughs> when I got back from that nightmare summer in Annapolis, I went to the dentist. Sarah, good to see you again. How are you? What are you doing here today? Just a regular checkup, cleaning? Great. Okay, now where'd you say you were this summer? Annapolis. Oh, that sounds fun. I love the year. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just get started here. Get comfy and open for me. Come <gasps> on. Oh, sorry. No, no. I think I just pulled the wrong file. Let me just see here. Um... Okay, it just looks like a completely different mouth. Um, <laughs> you can go ahead and close. Dr. Nam? Dr. Nam, can you come in here, please? It's urgent. <laughs> five. 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 <laughs> Six. Oh. Five, five, five. Periodontal disease? Who do bad breath people pair up with in life? Other bad breath people. Does this mean I'm going to wind up with someone whose mouth smells like Lake Merritt? <laughs> This is a tooth. Okay. 
this is the tooth, and this is the uh, gum line, the roots, and the bone. Um, so, regular brushing and flossing gets rid of plaque that builds up every day. You know about that. It's like that grayish, yellowish bacteria web that's really actually kind of complex. And it starts absorbing minerals from your own saliva if it stays there too long. You know about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, so the minerals plus the web of bacteria equals tartar, which is harder than bone. And it provides a new surface for more plaque to build along the gum line here. So day after day after day, if you don't get rid of it, then more and more and more. So swollen gums, gingivitis, pulling away from the tooth, deep, deep pockets for more plaque, more tartar. <laughs> more and more and more until you get five millimeters down. At five millimeters down, something really fucked up starts to happen. <laughs> five millimeters down, that bacteria is anaerobic. It doesn't need oxygen to grow. So it's speeding up. Everything's speeding up. <laughs> <laughs> An anaerobic bacteria produces a toxin, poison, like those little centipedes. That poison starts to deteriorate your gums and then it starts to break down the bone. Once you get to that point, you lose your teeth. So, what do we do? Have you heard of deep scaling? No? I wouldn't wish deep scaling on my enemies. <laughs> I wouldn't wish deep scaling on vampires or, or the man child who broke my heart. But if centipedes have teeth because they bite, you know, like maybe we'll just send a deep scaling to the centipedes of Annapolis because they're jerks. Deep scaling. Um, so deep scaling, we just need to we just need to get all that stuff out. We just need to um, we just need a horrifying vibrating metal blade, please. Okay. All right, ready? All right, just hold a second. <laughs> Once we're down there, though, we might as well just really get everything out because, you know, sometimes you have to kind of really scrape at it. So, horrifying, twisted metal hook, please. <laughs> we're going to have to go in there by hand. Okay? Just <laughs> scrape, 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 We've got a bleeder. Scrape, 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 got a lot of material that's just sort of floating around in there and we really need to kind of get it out so ultrasonic lavage please ultrasonic lavage sounds kind of nice <laughs> <laughs> sounds european <laughs> <laughs> this vibrating tool shoots out ice cold water <laughs> what are your teeth sensitive to cold temperatures <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> 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 when they're done, can I wipe away the blood? I wipe away the tears. I get the lecture. Okay, the damage has been done. 
The best you can hope for is that it doesn't get worse. We're going to need to see you again in another three months. You're probably going to need another deep scaling. Until then, here's what I need you to do every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> Brush, of course. Brush after every meal if possible. Rinse. Don't use any of that fancy minty rinse. I want you to use hydrogen peroxide. It does take a little while to get used to the foaming. It makes some people gag. But <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to it. But the most important part is this. That's when she gave it to me. My first package of Reach Gentle Gum Care Dental Floss, made up of two fluffy filaments, one blue, one white, wrapped around each other, a minty double helix that would save my mouth. <laughs> First it felt really bulky and unwieldy. How am I ever gonna get this in between my teeth? But then I realized it's perfect because you really have to work at it. That means it's really gonna soak up all that stuff in there. You just get it in there and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the two strands are wrapped around each other, and they also do a great job of picking up all the hard stuff, too, so. <laughs> I start up here in the upper right side. Work my way down from right to left. <laughs> and then, on the left side, I need two feet of this floss plus an inch on either side to keep it wrapped around my finger. You need each spot to get its own uninfected piece of floss. But don't forget about the molar in the back. Just because it doesn't have a tooth next to it doesn't mean you don't have to floss it. You have to. You just have to figure out how to. I mean, most. <laughs> you just, you basically, you just. <laughs> That's all. That's it. That's the ritual. So I went home and I did that whole goddamn dental routine. And I did it with compassion for my poor body, which I had nearly extinguished in Annapolis with vodka and stolen sleeping pills. <laughs> I brushed, I rinsed, and I flossed religiously, fanatically, desperately for three months. Then I went back to the dentist. Oh, hey, Sarah. My, 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 how time flies. Well. <laughs> so, you ready? Okay, then. And open for me. What happened? It's a miracle. I didn't need another deep scale. For all the life in me that really wants to live, there's just as much evil shit that's constantly trying to decompose in my own mouth, and that sets a stage for a never-ending battle for life. So flossing every day is my way of declaring, listen, life! pointless sometimes, it's true, but <laughs> it's my life, and I'm going to live it. I'm going to live it on my terms, not, not the vampire's terms, or centipede's terms, or vodka's terms, or fucking crazy tooth bacteria terms. No, this is my life, and I'm going to say what I need to say with this crazy mouth that I saved and brought back from the edge of death. I'm going to floss as my declaration of my right to live. <sighs> And one day, maybe, thanks to that woven, fluffy floss, maybe one day, the healing will reach down from this crazy mouth down into this crazy heart. And then, 
I would really like to smooch someone. <laughs> someone with a squeaky clean, beautiful smile who says sweet things with this sweet mouth, and then I'm going to need my mouth to be in good shape to do all kinds of things at that point. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. When I'm doing this insane amount of flossing, I want to live. But I can't find reach gentle gum care dental floss anywhere. I've been to every Walgreens that I can think of in the Bay Area. I've even been to Alameda. <laughs> <laughs> I went online, I did some research, and I found out that it's not called Reach anymore. They changed the brand name. It's called Listerine now, which is super confusing. Everyone thinks I'm looking for a rinse. I'm looking for a floss. And at the same time that they changed the brand name, it also disappeared off the shelves. But I talked to the local Walgreens manager the other day, and he told me that he was getting in a shipment, some inventory. My floss could be in there. My floss is in there. I'm going to go in there and get my floss. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 